Hey guys, ECRG here, back with another episode. I've got a quick episode here for you guys. We've got breaking news, breaking, breaking news. Now you guys know for people that have been following me for a while, you guys know that I've been talking about Apple coming to RTP a while. I've done, I think I've done about two episodes on it, coming to North Carolina. And... It's finally happening, guys. It's finally, finally happening. But before I get into this article, I want to let you guys know about the Resume Review Program. If you're interested in getting in on this clinical research uh, rocket ship, as I like to call it now, the clinical research rocket ship, um, you want to make sure that your resume and your interview skills and your strategy is on point. So email me, eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com, if you're interested in any help. Really getting in front of the line, cutting through all the BS that's out there, um, saving yourself from hours and hours of rejection um, and days and days and weeks and weeks of rejection of trying to get into this industry or trying to get the job that you want in this industry. And email me, eliteclinicalgroup at gmail.com. We'll help you get to that next level. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this, guys. So you can go ahead and check the video record. I've been saying this for years now, probably two years ago, the news first broke that Apple was going to be opening up a big campus in Research Triangle Park in North Carolina, in that triangle between um, NC State, Chapel Hill, and Duke University. This was was called the Triangle. And I talked about, and they they were talking about how how Apple was going to bring up being a big campus here. And, you know, the talk kind of stalled. You know, we didn't really hear anything for months. Months went by, weeks went by, then years finally went by. We didn't really hear anything, but we didn't hear that Apple was building another campus elsewhere either. And, you know, you can go and check the episodes. I said, I said, I guarantee you they build it here. They build it in Research Triangle Park. They build it in Research Triangle Park. And people were probably wondering, like, ETRG, what's going on with this, you know? I, th- I think you're wrong that, you know, years have gone by and they haven't said anything about it, but I just knew, I just knew there was no more fertile place for them to do this because uh, as the, as I was saying in the, in the, a couple of the episodes was Apple seems to be going down the healthcare path. They want their Apple devices to be starting to use in healthcare, be it clinical trials. They've cited on their website, even clinical trials and other healthcare applications. And one thing you will realize about the triangle is, for one, for employees, cost of living is low. Now, that's obviously going to change with the influx. You know, Google just announced a hub in Durham, North Carolina. So, obviously, tech companies are moving in. So, the, the affordability could change, even though it's got a long way to go before it's ever California or New York. But the affordability could be changing. Um, but it's fertile because... You have all these colleges here, NC State, UNC, and Duke. Huge colleges, great STEM programs at all three of those colleges, which is ripe for people that are interested in clinical trials and clinical research in healthcare. You've got hospitals galore. You've got Duke and the UNC hospital system. And once again, uh, one, of the, one of the biggest challenges these companies find, finds is hiring the right talent to get the things they want done. And you've got no shortage of that in uh, the Research Triangle Park in North Carolina between Duke, UNC, and NC State. And those are just three colleges. You've also got Elon University. You've got Wake Forest and Winston-Salem. So you've got plenty. Now, if, if Duke and UNC and NC State is not enough, you know, then you can go start looking at those other colleges. But you've got plenty, guys. Plus, you've got people moving here. I think the last estimate was about 38 people a day are moving to the Triangle. So it's crazy. It's crazy, guys. Um, so we finally got this breaking news in. So this article points out, you know, after more than three years of courting and an initial snub, North Carolina is finally landing an Apple campus. Apple plans to invest a billion dollars over 10 years to establish a campus in Research Triangle Park and create at least 3,000 jobs, at least 3,000 jobs, guys. The jobs would pay an average of $187,000 a year starting in 2023, according to the Commerce Department. The company's decision was announced Monday morning, which is this morning, in the monthly meeting of the Economic Investment Committee, which makes decisions about job development grants. The committee approved jobs grant of $845 million over 39 years, 
plus the utility benefit of $112 million for a total incentive package worth of $958.2 million. North Carolina's competition for the project was primarily Ohio. Guys, even though Columbus, Ohio is big, um, you know, they've got a lot of talent too out of Ohio State. You don't have nearly the amount of connections and fertile ground that RTP has for the, for these companies. So if you're trying to go in healthcare, there is no better place. You know, and I even forgot to mention, you've got companies like IBM, Lenovo, uh, you've got pharmaceutical companies, Pfizer, United Therapeutics, um, Merck. You've got big time pharmaceutical companies in RTP or in uh, North Carolina in general. You've got CRO. You've got all of the CROs, not to mention IQVIA, Cineos Health, um, PPD. You've got all of them, PRA, ParXL. You've got all of the CROs uh, in RTP. So why wouldn't you? Like, there is no better place to, uh, if you're trying to get into healthcare, make a big play into healthcare than RTP. There is no better place in the country, none. And I and I and I put that on everything. There's no better place. So why? So Ohio really wasn't a, com, a com competitor because they were missing out on so many other things that North Carolina and RTP has to offer. So let's continue. The campus will be a one million square foot in the Wake County side of RTP on tracks of land straddling Interstate 540, Cary and Morrisville. It will run on 100% renewable energy. So the new North Carolina campus is part of the company's plan to invest $430 billion and add 20,000 new jobs across the United States in the next five years, Apple announced early morning. As a North Carolina na native, I'm thrilled Apple is expanding and creating new long-term job opportunities in the community I grew up in, Jeff Williams. Apple's chief operating officer said in a written statement included in a news release from the company. Williams graduated from NC State University and earned his MBA at Duke University. We're proud that this new investment will also be supporting education and critical infrastructure projects across the state, he said. Apple has been a part of North Carolina for nearly two decades, and we look forward to continuing to grow in a bright future ahead. The new jobs will be in machine learning, artificial intelligence, software engineering, and other related fields, according to the news release. Apple will also establish a $100 million fund to support schools and community initiatives in the greater Raleigh-Durham area and across the state, and will, contribute, will be contributing over $110 million in infrastructure spending to the 80 North Carolina counties with the greatest need. Funds that will go toward broadband roads and bridges, Roads and bridges is huge, and public schools, according to the news release. When up and running, Apple's investments are expected to generate over $1.5 billion in economic benefits annually for North Carolina. Apple announced in early 2018 its plans to add an additional campus. Um... So with those changes, a company that creates 3,000 jobs and invests a billion dollars can receive a grant equivalent to 90% of its employees' state income tax payments for up to 30 years. In late 2018, North Carolina was seemingly out of the running, with Apple announcing a new campus in Austin, Texas, and additional plans for Seattle, San Diego, Pittsburgh, and other cities. Raleigh and North Carolina weren't mentioned in those plans, and state leaders for the last two years have maintained the recruitment of Apple as an open project. Apple selecting Austin was the third significant economic investment the state missed in 2018. Amazon chose Virginia and initially New York to split its new facility after the Triangle was one of 20 locations in the running for the second campus. Um, so, in you know, this is, the, this is Apple's second significant investment in the state. In 2009, Apple arrived in Catawba County town for its data center. So, guys, this is big news. Just wanted to let you guys know about it. Um, if you have any questions, email me at EliteClinicalGroup at gmail.com. Take care, guys.